Here you come white, so you gotta be right, and you take what few good black men we got after jail, drugs, and drive-bys. That is what she means by you up in our world. <laughs> Get your money, sis, fuck the hater. Get your money, sis, get your waiter. Making money moves, I ain't mad at you. Yeah, it's all about the cream and get your money, sis. Get your money, sis, fuck the hater. What's good everybody? Welcome back to Two Cent Tuesdays with Jenny, where you will be getting my unsolicited, unapologetic opinion about what's going on in the world today. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you are notified every single time that I post a new video. And you might as well go ahead and give this video a big old thumbs up. Before I get into this video, I just want to say to you new subscribers, I see you, I thank you, and y'all are making me very, very excited. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right into today's topic. So, like, I didn't know what to talk about today. I'm like, what has been really going on? What's tea? Everybody's still talking about this Porsche and Simon and Fallon situation like I'm over it everybody was cheating it's just a hot mess and then everybody's on this bonnet debate I'm over it I don't wear bonnets in public that's all I gotta say about that so I decided to talk about something that is a very 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 sensitive and I'm probably gonna get in trouble but I'm gonna talk about it so, as you guys know, I tell you all the time, I love, 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 love TikTok. And recently, I posted a video on TikTok of me reciting words from one of my favorite movies, Save the Last Dance. Roll clip. It ain't over, bitch. I don't even know why I started, bitch. Because you always in my way. I'm only in your way when it comes to Derek. That's what this is all about. No, no, it's about, about you. you. White, White girls like you, creeping up, taking our men. The whole world ain't enough, enough. you gotta conquer ours too. Whatever, Nikki. You, you know, know what, Derek and I like each other. other. If you don't problem with that, that, screw you. So, I was literally just showing TikTok that I love this movie. I can recite word for word everything in this movie. Like, I know all the words. Like, you cannot watch that movie with me or I'm going to get on your nerves because I'm going to be saying every single thing in the movie. But I had no idea that so... First of all, I did not know that so many people would respond to it because, I mean, it is that movie. But some white women were actually, like, who knew people were still so offended by, you know, interracial relationships? If you don't know, I'm sorry. If you don't know what Save the Last Dance is, it's a movie from way back. If you are a little youngin, you might not know. But if you are a millennial like me, you know Save the Last Dance. Basically, it was about a young white girl that you know her life turned upside down after her mom passed she had to move in with her father and she ended up going to an inner city school where it was predominantly black and brown students and she was one of the few white and she ended up falling in love with um a black man and you know of course as in real life a lot of people had some things to say about it anyway quick brief of that Anyway, so like I said, when I did that line, that specific part, some women were actually asking, can we discuss this? Why is this such an issue? Who knew people still felt this way? Some people do feel this way, but granted, the movie was mad long ago. But I decided, you know what? I did write a response to one of the young ladies that wrote that comment on my TikTok. So go follow me on TikTok if you want to see my response. But I'm going to give you guys... Uh, more because I can't with doing the TikTok videos and rushing my words so I'm going to give you guys a little bit more of my opinion on the topic so let's talk about interracial relationships put my two cents in there so the girl said what is the issue what is the issue with interracial relationships you can't help who you love and she is in fact correct we can't help who we fall for 
you may say you're not going to date this type of person, that type of person, but you never know. You don't know what God got. <laughs> you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. You don't know who's going to be your forever. So I agreed with her. Like, you really can't help who you love. But yes, some people will have an issue with interracial relationships, whether it's black and white, black and Hispanic black and asian majority of the time black is the common denominator in the issue of interracial relationships not too many people will have a problem with white and asian but they do granted they do some families are like you know when you're asian they want you to bring home another asian if you're hispanic they prefer you to date another hispanic person that's just you know that's just how some people are um, for me, because I had a real issue with addressing this topic because I'm like, I don't want to step on no, no toes. I don't want to, because I mean, this generation is extremely sensitive, but I have to speak my truth and I'm not afraid to do so as a black woman. Um, first I really wanted to ask her, I don't know if I did put it in the video, but it's like, do you ask your family members or your white peers why they have an issue with it why are you curious as to why we have an issue with it because i think we kind of all know why white people have an issue with interracial relationships anyway um respectfully <laughs> anyway my personal i don't i wouldn't call it an issue my whole thing is love who you want to love the only time it becomes a problem with me is when it's whites only or exotics only or anything other than black. And when I say that, I mean, if I ask a man, a black man specifically, well, what, why do you like white girls so much? Why do you only date white girls? And his response is, cause y'all black women got too much attitude. Y'all black women want to be so independent. Y'all too strong. Y'all too this. Whoa, skirt. I didn't ask you that. I didn't ask you why you dislike black women. I asked you, why do you like white women? And those type of men kind of leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I, I, as a whole because it's like what do you what do you what are you really saying you date white women because you dislike black women that's when it becomes an issue for me also i feel as though when some black men reach a certain social status or a certain financial status such as athletes celebrities um they tend to go white when it comes to their wives or they tend to go anything but black and to me it often reads that a black woman is not worthy of sharing your success with you understand what i'm saying um and that may not be the case but that's just sometimes how i perceive it um that we're not worthy enough to to share that that success with you and it's strange because a lot of times these black men specifically the ones who gain success and become financially secured these same men when they weren't in that position dated black women and have children with black women and some of them have daughters with black women so it's like what are you saying about your daughter you're saying that your daughter is not worth a man you know another black king taking care of her in the best way possible she's not beautiful enough you know like what are you teaching your daughter and not and 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 your mom is black you know you were raised by a black woman whether it's your black mom or your black grandma, your black auntie, somebody black raised you. So what does that say about the women in your life that you now feel like, well, I'm only going to date these type of women because I don't want to do. And, and granted, some of those, 
some of those men is because they come from unfortunately a toxic family and they tend to box all black women into their whatever they experienced in their upbringing you, you get what i'm saying like let's say you have that toxic black mom because there are some out there you are now viewing all black women in in in, in that same way and for me that's just an issue now if you choose to date black hispanic asian indian whatever 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 floats your boat at the time that's that's fine i'm not against dating a white man i have never had one attracted to me before that would want to date me um but i've never dated really outside of my race i mean when i was younger you know like spanish or whatever but i've never dated a white person and i'm not against it you know if the right one came along but there are things that i have to think about there's things that i factor and worry about as far as the backlash the judgment what would we have to face by being in a relationship and that could be with race gender you know that that's judgment comes and that and even even in any relationship you know some people just like oh he too he too good looking for her or she's too pretty for him you know people judge regardless but it's a it's a little bit different when it's interracial because you now have to hope and pray that each other's family because it's not just white people that that looks like where you going with this black woman because some black families like where you going with this white man or this white woman in my house you know it, it goes both ways um that's a factor that i would have to think about as well as when we have children i see a lot of biracial children deal with the the lack of a, of acceptance from both communities you know they don't feel black enough to hang out with the black side and they don't they feel they don't feel white enough to hang out with the white side so it's like they don't know where they fit in and i wouldn't want that for my kid but again i don't know what the future holds for me so i can't really say but again when you ask what is black women's issue with the whole interracial i don't think it's so much and i don't think it's so much an issue with the women with the white women that they date it's more so of how the men treat us that dates and i'm not listen i'm not saying all by no means because that's not the case in every interracial relationship i said some at the end of the day women in general are kind of here when it comes to the level of respect and you know with white men being always that you can't even see where my hand is and then black men women are here in general with respect we don't get the respect that we deserve i mean for crying out loud the things that your body has to go through to bring another life in this world you would think men would be kissing the ground that we walk on but you know that's neither here nor there anyway women in general i feel don't get the respect they deserve and black women in particular we are we we get even less respect than that we are literally at the bottom of the totem pole the bottom of the bottom and when i say that i say we are the most disrespected we are the most unprotected Malcolm X said it best go look up the speech and I've said it several times in other videos we do not get the respect from other races and and sadly from our own black men when I've seen plenty of black women that will go to war for a black man the front of the enemy line but we don't get the same in return. So yes, sometimes when we see the few good black men out there dating a woman of another race, it is sometimes a little sting like, damn, could have been my husband, you know? It's a little sting because it's like, we would do anything for, for black men, but we just we just don't get the same in return. But that's just, that's just my opinion. And 
again, like I said, there's not many good black men. And Chanel said it in the movie. In the movie. Here you come white, so you gotta be right. And you take what few good black men we got after jail, drugs, and drive-bys. That is what she means by you up in our world. <laughs> There's only one world, Chanel. That is what they teach you. We know different. And that's just that's just the reality. It's not saying we hate you white women. It's not saying we hate that you date our men. It's just we have very few good ones out there. And we kind of want them for ourselves. There's nothing wrong with that. The same as if you guys would want the good ones that y'all have, you would want them for yourselves too. It's just, it is what it is. If you get what you get just saying anyway that's all i gotta say about this thank you guys for watching as always of course i want you guys to let me know how you feel in the comments down below be nice make sure you follow me on all my social medias everything will be in the description down below and jenny is